Hey guys, Jenna here. Welcome back to my channel where I feature alternative lifestyles. Today we're gonna tour one young couple's amazing school bus conversion turned tiny home. This schoolie was originally converted for an HGTV show and then was resold for only $29,000. Now that's the price for your home and vehicle all in one. After finding this great deal and putting a little elbow grease in themselves, Joel and Rachel moved in and began their dream nomadic life. So let's take a tour of their beautiful tiny home and learn more about their alternative lifestyle. Hi, so I'm Joel and this is Rachel and we live in this bus. We've been living in this bus for about a year and a half, almost two years. So before we went tiny, we lived in an apartment here in Florida and the rent was about $1,400 a month. We were just living paycheck to paycheck and so we wanted to make a change. So that's why we decided to test our tiny living by moving into an RV for six months. And it was while we were in that RV that we found this bus on the Facebook market and decided to buy it. Our bus was originally converted on HGTV, Tiny House, Big Living, Season 8, Episode 11. So when we started renovating, the bus was already partially converted. The roof raise was already done, the inside, the layout was done. But we really just wanted to make it ours and custom to our needs. So we pretty much stripped everything out on the inside, pretty much down to the studs, and redid almost the whole bus. When we bought the bus, it was $29,000 is what they were selling it for, partially converted. So we bought it for that and then we put, so far including the solar, about $12,000 into it. So here in the front, Rachel wanted a little shelf for her succulents. And also down below, we just installed a built-in shelf for our shoes. That way we had a place to put our shoes before we're walking through the house. This seat cover was built by my mother-in-law. She loves sewing, so she made that to match the couch, which was nice. And this couch was actually hot pink when we bought the bus. Nothing wrong with hot pink, but we were definitely wanting to go for more of a gray color. So moving into the living room, uh, this right here is a little custom shelf I made for all Rachel's business stuff that she has organized here. And then a little TV above in case you wanna watch Netflix out here or something. This is Rachel's little work desk right here. And then we have a little chair that kind of sits next to the shelf that we bring out for her to do her work on. And then also this couch right here, there was lots of storage space underneath it, but it did not have any way to access it. So we cut a hole and built this little flap here so that we could store lots of things underneath because when we first moved into this bus there was no storage in this place at all so that was the first thing we started tackling was storage so when we bought this bus all they had used was plywood on the walls and they tried to like cover up the seams with like wood putty and stuff but when you drove it it started cracking and it just didn't look very nice so i took shiplap which I actually made out of quarter inch plywood and painted over it. And we created the shiplap to go over the plywood that was already built into the bus. And then I also framed out the RV windows because they were starting to get some insulation coming through and stuff from driving it. And then moving into the kitchen, this was probably the biggest project that we did. I built these from scratch. And then next was the countertop. When we first moved in, this countertop was here but it was just plywood with sticker on it. And so I completely redid the whole countertop with lamb in it, kept the sink the way it was. On the opposite side of the kitchen, we have my personal favorite, the coffee bar. I'm a coffee fanatic, so this was definitely important for me. And we wanted to get a darker countertop because, you know, coffee grains, seems like they just gets everywhere and then they show up on white countertops. Moving this way, this stove was here when we moved in. This microwave was not, so we got this microwave and installed it right above. 
Now there was an RV fridge right here and we had heard that RV fridges were known to cause fires. So we wanted to get rid of that and get a uh, regular fridge in here as soon as possible. So we tried to get the RV fridge out, but it actually, the only way to get it out was tear this wall down. So we tore the wall down, which brought down ceiling panels and created a big mess that we had to fix. And then where this wall used to be, we installed a little spice rack. So now we're gonna head towards the bathroom. You come on down this way. Well, we built this door, Rachel liked this wood pattern, which it was fun to make. However, it did take me a lot longer to make this door. So if you're gonna do it, you know it's gonna take you a long time. Then you come on in here. We got our nature's head composting toilet. And then I got a shelf for me and Rachel to keep our personal stuff on. Little sink, medicine cabinet, storage cabinet up top I built. And then we got a shower in here. And then right here, we got our clothing closet. So I get the top, Rachel gets the bottom. And then we'll move on into the bedroom here. Underneath the bed, we're gonna install drawers, storage. That's where the cat's litter box is gonna be installed on a pull out. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the outside. All right, so right now we're parked on a bamboo ranch. A friend of ours owns it and they're building their house right now. So they just wanted somebody out here kind of keeping an eye on the land while they build their house. So as you probably noticed, there is a two foot roof raise on this bus, which I did not do. They did that when they converted on HGTV and it keeps it from being claustrophobic inside. So we definitely like that. These wings here on the side as well, we are not artists and we did not paint these on there. They hired a painter to come out and do it. It's definitely not me and Rachel's style, but everybody else loved them so much we kind of just like left them on there, at least for now. It's a good photo op. We have some storage on the outside, like these little storage bins. We got two more on the other side there, uh, but I'll take you around to my garage as I call it. Usually we'll run fully off solar. On the rooftop, you'll see we have four panels, each 390 watts. So it's a little messy and we just finished the solar. So there's gotta do some organizing on these cords here, but my solar is all set up right here. And then over here, I got my tankless water heater and my signal booster is right here, which goes up this antenna. And uh, that's how we get fast internet wherever we go. So living tiny has really changed our lifestyle for the better. We are under a lot less stress trying to pay all the bills. And honestly, the community has probably been our favorite. They just really kind of welcome you with the open arms and it's one of my favorite communities I've ever been a part of. They'll share their secrets, they'll share how to do things and everybody's just so, like they're under a lot less stress than they were working nine to five and so they are more enjoyable because they're not so stressed out. That's my opinion anyways. So going tiny has brought lots of freedom in different ways to us, but also one way is just downsizing. When you don't have so much stuff, it's honestly freeing to be able to have a home for everything that you own and just, I don't know, there's just something about not having more than you need that's freeing, I believe. So when it comes to our plans for the future is just pretty much finish this bus, get it ready exactly how we envisioned it, and then hit the road, see all the places we wanted to see. Yeah, for right now, we just have a bunch of places saved around the United States we want to see. Yeah. Also outside the United States, but we want to conquer the United States first. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Make sure to tune back in soon for another alternative lifestyle story. Hit that bell and subscribe so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye.